After we've enhanced our PDF and we've gotten it to the point where we're ready to release it to the world, we may find that we need to transmit it in certain ways where file size becomes a problem for us. For example, if we want to send a PDF by email, we may be limited to the reasonable size of an attachment. What we may need to do is look at making copies of our PDF that are optimized for a smaller size. We're going to be working with the file combinedlarge.pdf, which is located in the working files. If we look at this file in Windows Explorer, we can see that this file is over 3.5 megabytes in size. Certainly this document has 25 pages, including a lot of photographic images, so we can expect for the file to be quite large. We want to make this file smaller if possible, and the way we do that within Acrobat is to choose the File menu, then choose Save as Other, and choose Optimized PDF. This will bring up the PDF Optimizer. Within this tool, we have access to all of the various elements of a PDF, and we have full control over how those elements are stored and optimized within the document. First of all, notice the settings, by default set to Standard. Standard is more or less a general purpose setting, somewhat related to the PDF settings that we've seen in previous videos. However, this dropdown has Standard, Mobile, and Custom. With the setting on Standard, we can look first at the image parameters. We can see that images will be downsampled to 150 ppi for any images over 225 ppi and will be compressed using medium JPEG quality. We see the same settings for grayscale images. Monochrome images, which are generally smaller, have settings that are a bit more relaxed than color and grayscale. Looking at the section for fonts, we can see which embedded fonts that can take up space are candidates to be unembedded. We can choose to unembed all fonts or specific fonts by highlighting and clicking unembed, but this assumes that the reader of the document has these fonts on the target machine. If not, the document may not look the same. The default fonts to be taken out are those most likely to be available across multiple platforms. We can also choose to optimize our transparency. By default, this is turned off. If your document has transparency, you can choose this option to flatten the transparency and thereby reduce the file size further. The Discard Objects panel lets you specify objects to remove from the PDF and lets you optimize curved lines in CAD drawings. You can discard objects created in Acrobat and other applications. Selecting an object from the list removes all occurrences of that object within the PDF. We can use the Discard User Data panel to remove any personal information that you don't want to distribute or share with others. If you're unable to find personal information, it may be hidden. We'll learn about hidden information in a future advanced video. The options in the Cleanup panel of the PDF Optimizer remove so-called useless items from the document. These items include elements that are obsolete or unnecessary for your intended use of the document. Removing some elements can seriously affect the functionality of the PDF. By default, only elements that don't affect functionality of your document are selected. If you aren't sure of the implications of removing other options, just use the default selections here. So with standard set up in the top, we can run a quick trial to see what we're going to get. But before we do, Let's look at this button at the top, Audit Space Usage. This is a great tool because it gives us the amount of space that's used by every single one of those objects within the file. Here we see that the total file size is well over 3.5 megabytes, as we saw in Windows Explorer. But we can see here that the largest part of this document's size, almost 85%, is consumed by images. So this tells us that we can really get the biggest bang for the buck by optimizing our images. Let's click on OK, and we'll use this standard setting, which does offer some downsampling for the higher resolution images. We'll click on OK, and it asks us to save the file. We'll save it to the desktop, and we'll call this Combined Standard. We'll click on Save, and after a moment, we'll get a warning that image masks were not downsampled. This is related to the transparency settings that we use. We'll click on OK. And now we have the optimized file here in our Acrobat window. 
If we go to the desktop and examine the properties of this file, we can see that it's now been reduced to about 2.95 megabytes. A bit smaller, but not a tremendous change. We can do better. Let's go back to Acrobat, and we'll reopen the combined large file from the Chapter 5 folder in the Working Files. This time, we'll go back to File, Save as Other, Optimized PDF. And in order to create a bigger impact with the image optimization, because as you recall, the images were the biggest contributor to our file size, we'll take these images down quite a bit. We'll reduce to 72 dpi for the color images. We won't worry about grayscale or monochrome because this document doesn't have any. It's all color images here. We'll focus on that one change and we'll click on OK. We'll save the file again to the desktop and we'll call this Combine Optimized. We'll click on Save and we'll click through our warning message about the image masks. If we look through this document, it still looks pretty good on the screen. The images have degraded just a little bit. And we can see that by zooming in a little further. But they're not too bad for an email document, although they're certainly not as high quality as they started out. If we go back to the desktop, we can take a look at the properties for the combined optimize file. And we can see now that this file is just over one megabyte. So we've optimized from over 3.5 megabytes down to about one megabyte by focusing our optimization on the color images. If we go back to our PDF and look at File, Save As, Other, Optimize PDF, and click again on the Audit Space Usage button, we can see that we've taken the images from what was previously over three megabytes worth of images down to just about 660K. That's a significant reduction, down almost 80% from their original size. So that's a big improvement, simply by optimizing the color images. So as you're looking for ways to optimize your images, look at File, Save As, Optimized PDF, and make sure you check the space usage so that you can easily identify where the space hogs are within your file, and you can optimize quickly and accurately.